You know, guys, winter sucks. I always get, like, horrible nose running and, like, sniffles and all sorts of other fun crud in the winter. Uh, so, take that as my advanced warning. I feel awful, but I'm still gonna record anyway, because I want to, and it's fun. Hey everyone, RSK West here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode! Yeah, that name still never gets any shorter. Last time, we finished up our running around in Castletown, met up with an Ilya who no longer remembers us, and did an escort mission to get the uh, Zora Prince all the way to Kakariko Village, and this time we're gonna follow the deceased Zora Queen, and see where she wants to show us. But yeah, if I sound kind uh, of off, I actually am feeling a little under the weather. Anyway, she seems to be leading us toward the graveyard. Oh yeah, also, I'm trying out a new audio setup where I don't even have the headset on anymore. And I just kind of have it in front of me. I tried it for a recording with uh, my roommate back in college. I have some uh, backlog Smash Brothers, so I'm going to be hopefully getting ready for y'all pretty soon. Uh, yeah, I did that already. Okay. But yeah, I have some backlog nice for y'all, but this audio setup should be fine. I used it then. It should also work now. And... Well, it looks like we have a little bit more to explore here in the graveyard. Also, just as a heads up, if y'all hear water, running water in the background, we have a fish tank in this room, and it is running low on water. <laughs> Don't worry, the fish are fine. It's not that low. It's just low enough to the point where the uh, filters are just kind of spraying water through the air. Looks like someone has a private graveyard in here. Nice, secluded though. The only problem is I can't imagine anyone coming to visit here, but maybe they don't want this today. Maybe they just want peace and quiet. I am deeply grateful for you aiding my son in his time of need. You were right to bring him here. Kakariko Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband in life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my, fun my son found his salvation in this place. My fun. Way to ruin the mood. <laughs> that which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero. Garments that house the abilities of the Zora. We got the Zora armor! The special garment was handed down to the Zora royal family. We have it equipped, we can move freely through the water, but we will be more vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Now, at last, I can join the king in slumber, and yet, my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. Well, it's a good thing you found all of your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But, aren't you forgetting something kind of important? That last few shadow. Remember what Theron the Light Spirit said? He said that you would need the few shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So, even if you go back now with all the people you've saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to get to the temple in the lake bed of Lake Halia. 
Okay, real talk, Minna. Wow, that is such a way to ruin the mood. But man, that t scene. that scene is so incredibly touching. I love that scene. I was like, can I push this break again? Okay, now it stays still. That is such a touching scene. Also, this area got lighter in that cutscene, and oh my god, it's beautiful. Kind of. I was about to say it's absolutely stunningly beautiful, but now that I look at it, it's still kind of orange. Also, why do the doors come all the way here? That strikes me as kind of odd. Anyway, we're gonna keep this area in mind. Uh, there is more to do here, but I want to do some quick stuff in Kakariko Village while we're here. And I do mean really quick. I think a while back we got a note from Barnes. Well, actually, wait, let me check my inventory. That's not my inventory. Uh, we got a note, didn't we? Oh, right, yeah, we got a, a note from Barnes saying he got a new type of bomb that could work underwater. And say we're going to a uh, water temple, it might be useful to have bombs that could explode underwater. So let's let's go check on that. I also might want to fill up on a red potion while I am here. Because, uh, hell, yeah. Uh, okay, how are my arms? Okay, I still have one health potion. Do you sell red potion? I don't know. She wants some milk anyway, which... Oh no, she sells red potion. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, give me a red potion. Uh, okay, nothing else opens up here yet. I was wondering if there is something else here to do in the future, but I guess it's not here yet. Let's go talk to Barnes. Also, if I'm not talking much this uh, episode, not only am I super stuffy, but I have a raging headache. Yeah, I'm really under the weather, but I want to play. I want to record. I did this for y'all. Uh, anyway, uh, that's not it. And see what Barnes has for us. Whoa. I forgot how this thing looked. Um, <laughs> whoa. How does sticking the head of a giant dead piranha looking fish onto what is essentially just a bomb without the metal, how does that make it waterproof? Interesting. Barnes, you got. Hey! I have a wet. Wait, what voice did I give him again? <laughs> I forget his voice every time. Uh, I think I just gave him a super fast voice. Hey, I have a wet on you. What, on you? On you. Take a peek at this. I finished my water bombs. These little fellows are so advanced, you can even use them in the water. Oh, that's coming handy. Guaranteed. You wanna buy some? Alright now, take a good look at the Master Barnes Handmade Bomb. Uh, 30 rupees. They're actually the exact same price, but we only get five of them. Alright, our bomb bag has four of them. Uh, right. They, he has a buyback program, because we can only carry one type of bomb. Why does he put the mask on? A very good day to you, sir. Welcome to the incredibly fancy bomb buyback counter. Mercy me, what do we have here? It appears you have some bombs! Well, I'm gonna moment to peek into that bag. Now, bombs, huh? If you're in mind to sell those, I'll buy 13 for 19... That sounds like a rip-off! But sure, fine. Just see, that was an awful deal. Fine. Give me 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't carry 15. Right, right. Uh, well, that's done. Also, if you're wondering, water bombs work above water, or above ground. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, I read it right the first time. Above water the exact same way as a normal bomb. Which begs the question, why would you ever want normal bombs? Sell them if you want. But you did see there that technically normal bombs are cheaper in the long run just because you get more of them for the same price as water bombs. But at the same time, we don't honestly use bombs 
that often. We use them often enough, but it's not like we use them constantly. So it really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, anyway though, there's a few things I actually would not mind doing with these water bombs first. Uh, there's one thing I want to do here, and there's another thing I want to do up in Zora's Domain. Uh, before we head to Lake Hylia. Actually, wait, there's two things I'm not going to do here. First, I was going to head back to the graveyard and uh, see what else we could do there, but first, let me head here. Also, I might be forgetting something right now, I gotta admit. Oh, also, real quick, before I forget something else, let's get that off my inventory. I don't know this game admittedly as well. Like, everything past the Fire Temple is a little fuzzy for me because I haven't played it in a long while. But, I can probably manage, but if I forget something, just tell me about it in the comments. Don't spoil, like, story stuff, but if you want to mention where a heart piece is, just because I forgot it, let me know. Uh, real quick, let's see how this nifty new Zora armor looks. Uh, we've got to go to this one to equip it. Looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a ninja, actually, but I know it's like a water-breathing mask. Now, how that lets me breathe in the water, I don't know. Yeah, if we take off our iron boots, we can actually swim freely. It controls relatively well. It doesn't turn as sharply as I would like it to, but it works well enough. Uh, oh yeah, you can also still bomb arrow combo with this, but you can't use your arrows in the water, so you're better off just with bone. Uh, let's throw this. I don't remember what this had. I don't... I'm pretty sure we got a heart piece here before. Okay, it's just 50 rupees. Uh, you know, that really wasn't worth it, but hey, we have to see those. Uh, also, uh, just so you know, we probably are going to get to the Water Temple this episode. I don't know how long it'll be, though, but I do want to head to Zora's Domain first and grab one item that might be kind of helpful. The closest way to get to Zora's Domain, though, is actually from Lake Hylia, so... I guess we're gonna hit the Lake Hylia, but first I want to show y'all something in the graveyard. People who played this game probably know what I'm thinking of, but it's super useful at this point in the game. I guess you didn't know about it first time playing through, yep. <laughs> You'll see why that's really embarrassing once I show y'all it. So I gotta say, it's kind of weird how Link's hat just kind of straightened out in there. I was like, I say, it's kind of weird that this fits Link so perfectly and even has the usual head thingy. Is did an enemy clip into the wall? Okay, that's weird. Is there anything up there? No, it's just decoration. Uh, real quick, let's blow this up while we're here. I don't want to waste too many of these as... Uh, just to let y'all know, we will need water bombs to even enter the water temple. So, the water bomb thing, that's mandatory. You do have to get water bombs. You just don't... I don't think you actually need them past that point, but... You do need them to at least enter the temple. What I want to show off is this right here. I have to talk about me sniffling, I... yeah. This tunnel. I didn't know this existed first playing the game. And it takes us... all the way to Lake Hylia. For some unknown reason, there's just a random hole at the bottom of Lake Hylia, right beneath the waterfall, actually. And it just kind of dumps us out here. It's a one-way trip, though, so once we came in here, we cannot leave. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of a thing. Whoa! Uh, water current, yes! Little bit of a current. I said, you're probably wondering how on earth we get to Zora's Domain as me. Like, this currently. There is a way to do this. It's a way I don't want to admit from like Hylia.
It involves... A what? Oh, wait, right, right, we can't do this. Yeah. Oops, um... Uh, that makes things awkward, because that means I gotta go way out of my way if I wanna get the thing from Zora's Domain. Uh... Hmm... If I wanna go all out of my way... You know, no, we'll, we'll save the Zora's Domain thing for after the Water Temple. Oh, uh, that can wait, because I think we can actually do that pretty... Well, yeah, we'll, we'll just save that up for, for after the Water Temple. We've had a long time between the last dungeon. Real quick though, since we have water bombs, I kinda wanna check in here. Believe it or not, not all that much is actually opened up to us with water bombs. Like, it's a new item technically, but it's... we don't get much for it. Okay, yeah, there are a few boulders down here. As long as I have at least like one, maybe two bombs to get into the temple, it's fine. I don't think I need them elsewhere. And I also know we'll be getting bombs in the temple. We really don't have to worry all that much. Whoa! Are we... Why I should not have blown these up in succession. One rupee of each color. I hope these don't despawn super fast or anything stupid. Okay. Just, just some money. So I think this like we're kind of wasting time this episode. I just kind of wanted to take a look around what we had accessible to us and see if there's anything we can do before we enter the water temple. And no, that's actually not because I'm trying to delay the water temple. I actually kind of like the water temple in this game, believe it or not. So I'm not actually trying to delay it. Although I will admit it's been a while and I do remember it still being kind of confusing. A little bit. Like, the forest temple and the fire temple I knew like the back of my hand. But I'm not gonna lie, every temple from here, I'm really fuzzy on. I don't remember them well. At all. Like, it's kinda weird. Anyway, if we head on down here. Before if we tried to come down here, we would most certainly drown. Probably, be probably before we even reach the bottom. But now, we got ourselves a way up. Or way up, way down. Uh, I'm not gonna bother blowing these other boulders up because I don't want to waste more bombs. If we get up on this, it'll actually rocket us to the surface. But, and we have really need to do that. It looks like we found the area where the water temple is, though. Pretty, pretty safe spot for it, all things considered. Uh, I'm not gonna bother turning these doors right now. Uh, just so I know they just say, Hey, Water Temple, danger inside, don't go in. That's basically what they say in a nutshell. Don't worry, you're not missing much. Uh, what I wanna do is blow this up, and then drop another bomb on it. This is why I said bombs are mandatory to enter the Water Temple. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to have them. Even if they really are not all that worth it, but, eh. I mean, I will say, all things considered, in this game, I think this is the game that really doesn't use bombs all that much. Anyway, with that, we have finally entered the third dungeon of the game. The Water Temple, or Lake Bed Temple, as I think it's actually called. We have a giant tube here. I don't know what the music was like here. I can't hear it very well right now. Oh god, uh... Right, you can still use your sword in the water with the iron boots. I should mention that. What you wanna... Ow. What you wanna do with this giant clam monster is wait for him to open his mouth up as much as possible. I think. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, let me store this. I am clearly doing this wrong. Whoa, get away! No, we're done! Get off the boots! Get off the boots! Okay, um... I may have forgot some. Uh... 
Can't use the Gale Boomerang underwater, I said we are so low in health right now, it makes me sad. You know what, we're just gonna forget those enemies, uh... I might look that up later, how to defeat that, because I'm only doing one recording session this time, just because I don't carry for the greatest, I can't use this in the water, right, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna swim. Obviously, the jellyfish are dangerous, don't, don't touch them. And that is the one thing about this dungeon, combat underwater is really awful. Also, pretty sure these guys take a norm full heart normally. So if I hit them right now, it kills me. Anyway, welcome to the Lake Bed Temple. Aesthetically, this is probably one of my favorite dungeons in the game, but it's not my absolute favorite. I might just use this red potion real quick, because this dungeon actually gives us a supply within the dungeon, in the form of our little red shoes here. Get it? Get it? Yeah, we actually have a supply of red potions in here, thanks to these guys. Albeit, it's basically at the entrance, so it doesn't mean much, but hey, potions are potions. We also get a full refill and error, a uh, free refill. Free refill on arrows and bombs. Nice. Uh, ow. I'm just gonna leave that guy. Uh, I'm also going to... If I know that will go wrong. Uh, what we want to do here is jump on that and pull the lever down. Get used to these puzzles. We're gonna, we're gonna be seeing these a lot. Oh god, uh... Hi. I will say, I don't like how choo choo choos look in this game. They are. They're a little too wormy for my liking. Oh no! Oh! You just saw the result of them merging. Here, can I merge these two together? Yeah. Whoa! Merge. Merge into one being. Merge into one body. Oh god, they're getting massive. Uh. I'm pretty sure if I come back here, the red guys respawn. I wanna see. Actually, no, wait, they don't. I'm leaving this dungeon before I lose any more free health punishes. But yeah, obviously you choose ground. And I believe it's nearly infinite too, so that's the thing. Now uh, this room looks really cool! Just... Oh. Whoa! That's treacherous. Whoa, don't you think you ought to knock those... Uh, slide types hanging off the ceiling first. They don't look to be very stable. I bet they break easily if you hit them with enough force, don't you think? Enough force, you say? Well... How the heck do I do the boat combo again? Whoa, not like that! Okay. I am clearly not using this right, am I? Um... Okay, as you can probably tell, yeah, we're supposed to do the bomb arrow combo, but it's been... A few weeks since I actually did this, and the last time we did this was way back when we got those heart containers after the fire temple. How the heck do I do this again? Uh, well, here's where I fumble around for a little bit. I might cut, I might cut this out. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to Minna. Yes, bomb arrow combo. Yes. Oh my god. Stop it. Finally figured it out, okay! Sometimes the touchpad controls are not the greatest. 
they're usually pretty good, but sometimes they're a little, um, little like that. We're just gonna leave it at that. Uh, now that I finally figured it out, and yes, this does mean you can pair them with water bombs, your uh, arrows, but you can't actually do that in the water, so it's not really any different. Whoa, uh, well, ow! So, Oh yeah, we have a, uh, move, don't we? Right, this is actually too high to jump. Woo, that's pretty strong. I need to use it more often. Uh, oh, these guys. This is a good example of an enemy who that particular hitting move is pretty good on if I can hit them. I dare not do it here. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, and they leave their helmets here when they die. That's not particularly useful, but I mean, it's cool. Whoa, uh, Link, jump. <laughs> Please jump. Wow, I got stuck on what was basically a tree stump. That's, that's fun times. But I will say, aesthetically, this is probably one of my favorite dungeons. It's just not the greatest. Plus, the damp atmosphere in here. Get it, damp? <laughs> the damp atmosphere in here definitely gets old pretty fast. But I mean, it's still cool looking. Uh, what's up here? I think there's... Yeah, there's a chest. Can I please not do that again? I think. Also, I'm not gonna question where the water com is coming from here. It's just kind of appearing. Water bomb, okay. Yeah, like I said, you really don't need to get water bombs in this dungeon at all. Anyway, we find ourselves to somewhat of a uh, central area with a giant whirlpool and a few jellyfish in the water too, I guess. That's really cool, actually. That actually reminds me out of something off of uh, Pokemon XD. You know when I play that game? That game is good. There we go. Hey, that looks pretty cool down there. I guess the jellyfish is just decoration. It's, you don't actually ever go in that water. Ah, so this room is literally just for that Lizalf. Uh, let's all post. Moving on! Actually, wait, was that the first Lizalf post we faced in the game? Wow, I think I just casually overlooked that. Uh, this room, though, is giant. Like, it is really large. This is this dungeon's central room. It looks really cool, but eh, eh. And similar to the fact that this entire room looks like rock and, and dead coral is kind of meh to me. Oh. Oh god. Well, we know where you are. God, voice crack. Well, we know where you are now. I got so scared it made me voice crack. Yeah. Uh, real quick though, before we actually go too far into this room, I want to head all the way- Whoa, not all the way down here. Whoa, whoa, out of the water, Link. Out of the water. Little, little, what? Ah, no. Out of the Oh, God. Oh, God. Link. Link. That was a thing. Uh, yes, this water has, like, piranhas in it, or skeleton fish. Something I want to show off, though, because it's something I actually forgot about until recently. You can actually fish for these guys, I think. Not like that. 
Just some random little detail you can do. Come on, take it down. Nope, not like that. They are definitely attracted to it. You can see them constantly kind of swarming at. Oh, right, I have to hold the button, too. Uh, there we go. Fish on... Oh, oh, right camera angle. We caught a skull fish. It's stronger than it looks. Or uh, whatever that said. This fish is forbidding, so it won't be added to your fish journal. Why? It's a fish. It's... Well, is it a fish, actually? I, you know what, now that I think about it, I'm not entirely sure. That's just a, that's a fun detail I wanted to show off. Uh, whoops, wait, wait, you should have someone in here. Uh, okay, get out of the way, Jars. Where is it? Or, actually, wait, I can't get it yet, can I? Oh, God, out of the water. Thankfully, I think this is the only room in the entire dungeon that has a skullfish. Thank goodness, this dungeon would be way worse if they were spread out some more. But, if we head on up here... I said, just now, know, this is about where I stopped last time I played Twilight Princess HD, which was about when the game first came out. And aside from that, past that point, I have not played the game in a year. Like, since I played it on the Wii, like, five years ago now. So it has, so we're nearing the point where I get real fuzzy. But, we should be able to make do. Anyway, uh, yeah, I can't jump off the staircase. Uh, let's see, let's take a look around. I think there's a door over here, right. Shoot, uh... Well, you know, we're not that far into the dungeon. We've hit 30 minutes. We don't have Uku yet, which is what would make it super easy for me to get back, admittedly, but... That's... Actually, wait. Okay, now it's not there yet. Uh... Okay, now. It would make it super easy to, to just get Uku so I could get back easily, but I'm not doing that, I don't think. Unless... No, what is this actually? Okay, worthless item is worthless. Uh... I guess with that, we're gonna end this episode here. So I think it seems kind of like a ramble episode and... kind of a random episode. I'm really not feeling into the greatest of, like... I'm just, I'm a little under the weather right now. I'm hoping I'll be better next episode. I'm gonna record two more sessions tomorrow night to get my usual weekly uh, video. Wait, what am gonna say? This is one huge temple. Just trying to find a single key is gonna take a lot of effort. <laughs> is that a reference to a certain other water temple? I think it might be. Just do me a favor and don't get lost. Huh. <laughs> Inside developer joke! Hey! Anyway, uh, enough being around the bush. Uh, I, I'm gonna end the episode here and record again later. Hopefully when I'm feeling better. I think it's really weird right now. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I have been asked KOS, and I will see y'all next time. Hopefully with some, uh, better health. Thank you all for watching! Bye!